In Beethoven's time, in Mozart's time, the idea of having a standalone conductor for these pieces uh, was something that would not have occurred to them. Uh, in part because, of course, both of them were highly professional musicians, in part probably because they would have had to pay a conductor because all of their performances were self-promoted affairs. So the issue would not have come up. When it was decided to have the lid and to put the piano in the position that we know today, the angle of the wood grain was changed to be about 40, 45 uh, degrees in order to help to project the sound out sideways. But still today, if you walk around the rim of the piano whilst somebody is playing, when you get to the tip, you'll hear it the best. And so the orchestra hears the piano sound much better than the audience in, in such a case, which is less than ideal, and they don't get to see the, the soloist either, which is less than ideal. So what I've discovered is the, the 18th century position is actually 180 degrees to what you will see in such so-called conducted performances. Uh, the keyboard is in front of the wind, and the tip is facing out to the audience. So you don't get to see the hands of the soloist, but you get to see the face. And from my point of view, that means that I can see the leader. And the most important kind of communication that needs to go on is between the leader and myself. And so the leader is looking towards the orchestra much the way the conductor might. So a conductorless performance, which is what this is, becomes a much more chamber performance in which there's a great deal of collective responsibility. The wind are right next to me so they can hear everything that I can play. Acoustically, it's a much tighter kind of, of uh, working situation than any other. And so, uh, as a result, uh, the kinesthesia of it, you know, it's, it's a much more exciting thing uh, altogether. And I'm delighted to have the leader take the, the, the largest responsibility, and, and the rest is looking at the kettle drum player at, at the right moment and uh, uh, giving everybody a sense that they have a stake in the matter.